Dane Gagai puts the foot down. Still going Gagai, and that is just brilliant. But brilliant defence equally for Canberra. I grew up in Mackay. Um, I was there my whole life until um, about the age of 15. It was good because we lived on the coast, so we'd go down the beach, um, play a bit of touch footy down there, just um, just run a bit of a muck as a kid. The Torres Strait Islanders from um, Baidu Island and Yam Island. And um, my mum moved over from um, New Zealand um, from Papatoi. It's a bit of a, bit of a mix, um, part Kiwi, um, part TI. Two very strong cultural backgrounds. Big chance coming up, it's knocked by Carter. Gagai, Dane Gagai spotted an opening, he goes through. When I was let go from the Broncos, I was, that was a pretty um, tough period for me. There was a time where I was just kind of house hopping for a bit and just playing um, Queensland Cup. I'm just trying to, trying to get a start and um, there was one particular night where I didn't have a place to stay so I parked my car down the street and just end up pulling the seat back and, and just shut it down there and that was, a, that, was, that was probably the lowest point. After we'd finished playing the next morning, Wayne Bennett gave me a call and I'd been in negotiations with him to um, come to Newcastle and then he just gave me a call and goes, look, would you, would you be ready to play next weekend if I got you down here? And I, I couldn't have been any more happy with that phone call. Wayne really helped me, um, I guess, developed me as um, my own person and um, took a lot of interest in me away from footy. He, he believed I had like a lot of potential and natural ability, but he wanted to um, help get the stuff away from footy sorted and I guess helped me grow up and he um, he made the decision um, before I even knew about it. Um, he'd sat down and spoke with Alex McKinnon. When I moved down here, Wayne put me in with him and I learned a lot of things from um, Macca growing up, uh, living with him and um, just um, learned like, right from wrong sort of and I was obviously one of those people that didn't want to talk about things and kind of just kept it to myself and then when I was around people I'd just put on a, I guess you could say, put on a mask and pretend like everything was all good. And when I was going through that tough period, I was pushing people away and being Indigenous, I didn't want want my family to worry and or anything like that. Didn't want to, I guess, be seen as weak and I thought I could fix it myself. Um, but the longer I held on to that stuff that happened with me, um, the worse things started getting. But as soon as, um, I got put in the right environment and around the right people, and I and I spoke to it, spoke about it. it. It felt like a big weight was lifted off me, and I felt a lot more better talking about it, having good sleep, getting a bit of routine in my life, and um, minimising, I guess, those those things you stress about. Um, if you can keep them to a minimal, that's, that goes a long way to um, helping out mentally. Oh boy, I'm <laughs> Yarn safe and headspace is definitely the first thing you should do if you're in a bad way. But um, if you've got somebody you can talk to, talk to them and um, just try to seek help.